Millikan's experiment. The determination of the charge of the electron. Robert J. Millikan performed an elegant experiment in 1908 and published it in 1909, in which he determined the charge of the electron. The apparatus he used looked like a pressure cooker, but he was able to perform a series of experiments over 60 days that, when interpreted correctly, led to the determination of the charge of the electron. In his experiment, he used an atomizer, a device which produces a very fine spray of droplets, to produce a bunch of very small droplets of oil. These droplets were allowed to fall into a space between two charged plates and were then hit with radiation that produced a negative charge on the droplets. Once he had the charged droplets, he looked for one that was stationary in midair. This particular droplet had two equal forces acting on it, gravity pulling down and the electric force pulling up. The gravitational force is determined by the mass of the droplet and the gravitational constant g, which is well known. The electric force is dependent on the charge on the droplet and the electric field produced by the charged plates, which can be determined from the charge on the plates, which we can easily measure. We could determine the charge on the droplet if we knew the mass of the droplet. To determine the mass of the droplet, Millikan simply shut off the electric field. The droplet began to fall, but quickly reached a constant speed. This is called the terminal velocity and happens for any object falling through air because air resistance produces a force that acts in the opposite direction of the motion. The force of air resistance depends on the surface area of the drop. If we assume the drop is spherical, then the surface area is related to the volume of the drop. From the volume of the drop and the density of the oil, we can get the mass of the drop and then the charge on the drop. Millikan's results can be summarized in these three findings. First, he found many different values for the charge on the drop in the thousands of experiments he did, each of which can be done in less time than it takes to describe it. This is not surprising when you understand that the droplets of oil were likely not all of exactly the same size. Second, he found that there was one particular value that was the smallest value of charge he found. At first glance, this seems obvious, but what we really mean is that no matter what he tried, he could not produce a charge smaller than that particular value. Finally, all of the other values of charge were whole number multiples of the smallest charge. The combination of these three items gave Millikan confidence that the charge was carried by particles and that this smallest amount of charge was the charge carried by an electron.